Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the coupling in your washer, unplug the power cord and shut off the water supply. Next, remove the hot and cold water supply lines from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill out. Carefully tip the washer back so it rests on the rear panel. Now use an adjustable wrench and strike it with a hammer to help unthread the rotor mounting nut. With the nut and washer removed, carefully pull off the rotor assembly. Now use a 10 mm socket to remove the mounting bolts securing the stator. Carefully set the stator down and use a 5 16th inch socket to remove the screws securing the shift actuator. With the screws removed, pull the actuator off. Remove the old coupling from the assembly. Prepare the new coupling for installation by first applying some grease. Now insert the new coupling into the shift actuator. Align the large end of the spring in the groove on the coupling. Then insert the actuator post into the clutch housing as you realign the assembly. Replace the screws to secure. Realign the stator on the clutch and bearing housing and replace the mounting bolts to secure. Replace the rotor assembly by aligning it on the shaft. Replace the washer, then re-thread the mounting nut. Torque the nut to 88 foot-pounds. Return the washer to its upright position. Reattach the hot and cold water supply lines to the inlet valve. With the repair completed, turn the water supply back on. Plug the power cord back in, and your washer should be ready for use. <laughs>